here we go. I ordered some more trimmed circuit card fingers off of eBay. They're supposed to be two pounds in here. Two pounds is a roughly 900 grams. And so include the bag, we've got 940. So the weight is good. And uh, I'm gonna try something different with this group of fingers. I'm gonna try, instead of acid peroxide, what we're gonna do is try to uh, lift the gold foils off of the fiber board using uh, hot nitric acid boils. So what we'll do is uh, add a few of these fingers into a clean beaker and there I have about what 31 grams of trimmed fingers in there now what we'll do is uh, instead of going all in when I'm doing something new like this I take a little bit of the material and do an experiment with it so that I don't create a big mess with the whole batch here I'm adding about 150 milliliters of distilled water now we'll cover it up set it up on the heat now we're going to start adding doses of nitric acid to dissolve the base metals that are underneath those gold foils and try to get them to release from the fiber board. I've added about 30 milliliters of nitric acid in here added a little bit more water as I was going but I think kind of looks like we've got all them foils pretty much lifted just about there's still a few clinging to the fiber boards down there all right if you look down in here still got some gold foils that are clinging Now we're going to pull this experiment down out of the way and push him back a little bit here out of the way. I've got a large five liter beaker and what I'm going to do is add some distilled water to this beaker. Yeah, let's see about 1.5 liters. I'm going to set this up on the heat. I've got the rest of the trimmed circuit cart fingers. I'm going to add these to the water now. Now I remember why I don't work, like working on these things. They're messy, low yielding. And time consuming but computer scrap is popular so we're gonna try to uh, give it our best shot here and get this stuff processed as best we can let's add a little bit more water that's about two and a half up to the two and a half milliliter level now what I'll do is add some nitric acid and we'll start dissolving out the base metals to release our gold foils. I'm going to add about uh, half a liter I guess of nitric acid. You can see there's a bunch of dirt coming to the surface. Probably would have been a good idea to wash those pieces off before we put it in the acid.
I've had this on the heat now for about an hour and a half, maybe. The gold foils are coming off nicely, rising to the top of the liquid. I'm just gonna let this go. I'm gonna add some more distilled water. And those foils are looking fairly good there. We'll just let this go and then go to the next step and see what we want to do after we get all those foils released from the fiber board. I allowed this to stay on the heat overnight. So it's been on here about 12 hours and our foils are looking real good. Like everything's been separated. I'm gonna pull it down off the heat now and let it cool off a little bit. Got one of our specially prepared filter papers here. And so now what we'll do is separate the liquid that contains all the base metals from the solids that contains our gold. here from our experiment. Shouldn't be anything in here, but we're gonna test the stannis just to make sure. And there you can see by that test, there's no precious metals in that blue liquid. That's just about the last of the liquid. So now what we'll do is I'll add some distilled water to this and we'll rinse these solids out with a couple of distilled water rinses until we get all of the uh, blue liquid rinsed off of here. Just about got all the blue liquid pulled off of these uh, solids. If you look down here, these water rinses have got all the copper that's in solution rinsed off. Got it nice and colorless. So we've rinsed all the base metals off of these fingers now. While I'm waiting for the water to pull through this filter, what we'll do is I'll turn our attention over here to the uh, beaker. It's got our foils in it. And I've got some hydrochloric acid, also known as muriatic acid. And I'm gonna add some hydrochloric acid now to our beaker. Since there's nitric in there, we might get a little bit of reaction. cover this up. I'm going to set this up on the heat now and we're going to start dissolving the gold foils. I'm adding a splash, maybe 50 milliliters of nitric acid in here and we'll go ahead and start dissolving the gold foils.
I've got all the blue liquid off of these foils. So now what we'll do is we'll gather this filter up out of here. And if you look down in our beaker, we've got a spot down here that's kind of cleared away. So we're going to drop this filter paper in here. It's got our foils. And now what I'll do is take this glass rod, stick it down in the aqua regia. And we'll see if we can uh, get that stuff to dissolve for us. Let's see if I can get this rod out of here, get it out of the way. This is hydrochloric acid that I'm using to rinse it off as I pull it out. rinse down the insides of the beaker with some hydrochloric acid. Make sure we got all the gold foils rinsed down. It's been on the heat now for about an hour. Reach down in here and get a little bit of solution on our piece of filter paper. Let's see what we got going on in here. Stannis chloride test. There you can see we've got gold in solution. This has been on high heat now for about an hour. And what we're gonna do is take it down off the heat now and let this cool off. I cooled the solution off in an ice bath. Let's move this out of the way now. I'm gonna pull this up. I've got a number two medium flow filter installed in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start filtering our liquid. Do another Stannis test just to verify that we have gold in our solution. I know we do, but it doesn't hurt to do a Stannis test before we do the precipitation. I'm just going to use a minimal amount of water to uh, rinse these fingers off. I'm not expecting a whole lot of gold here maybe three grams four grams or something like that so we'll use a minimal amount of water and do a rinse here the rest of this solution poured through the filter here you can see the uh, fingers had all of the uh, gold removed from them. All the gold is off there now with that aqua regia treatment. It's pretty clean. And this was a fairly quick process. Not like in the past when I did uh, acid peroxide and it took months or weeks to get all the gold off of there. This is our final rinse. I'm sticking a piece of filter paper down here. I'm gonna get a status test on this. And you can see there's no more gold in our rinse water. I've got everything pulled through the filter. Now we're gonna transfer our solution, our gold bearing solution this bottle up here into this beaker and 
Now let's add some SMB and precipitate out pure gold. This is not going to be very uh, visually appealing because, huh, well, I could be wrong. I didn't think it was going to give us a good show, but I guess I could be wrong. Let's give this a stir. Oh yeah, I can see some brown forming in there. Not a whole lot. Like I said, I'm only expecting about three grams of pure gold from this. Let's do a status test, make sure we got everything precipitated. No gold in the solution. Here we go. Let's see what we got down in the bottom of our beaker. It's been settling for about half an hour. All right, here we go. That's it down in the bottom of this beaker. Let's give this a rinse with some water. Let's give it a quick boil. Some hydrochloric acid. Just a little bit in there. This always seems to help. been boiling now for about five minutes let's reach in here and pour off the uh, waste solution to our waste container gold looks nice and brown now there might be a little bit in solution that we're pouring off that's okay we're gonna put this solution in the stock pot looking pretty good since we got such a small amount I'm gonna let this settle out down here before we pour off the waste liquid I think we'll transfer this to a smaller beaker so it's easier to handle That settled out fairly quickly. All right, let's take and get this down into a melt dish. Let's get it down here on the melt table. And we're gonna melt this up now into a, uh, a little button so we can get a yield on this.
look too bad. There's our little gold bead. Here's our dot of pure gold from the trimmed circuit card fingers. Looks good. Got a nice shiny reflective finish. I boiled it in a little dilute sulfuric acid to remove the flux. Looks like we got 3.6 grams of pure gold from two pounds of trimmed circuit card fingers. Someone suggested using nitric acid boils to uh, loosen those foils from the trimmed fingers and I must say I agree this was an easy and quick refining we'll offer this for sale on my eBay site I'd like to thank everybody for watching